The technologies that we're seeing today are really quite disruptive. And what we mean by that is the existing ways of doing things are um, being changed by the new technologies of small-scale, lightweight, unmanned aerial systems. The applications are across many sectors and all those applications have a massive impact into how operators carry out their tasks. It changes the business models, it makes things incredibly cheaper. From the perspective of the RASSIG, they need to, in a sense, be given a bit of a leg up and understand in government how to embrace these technologies in a safe way. Unmanned aerial systems let you do stuff that you couldn't otherwise do. They can provide you with a kind of coverage that you just wouldn't get from any other way of filming. The key is to know when to use it and to use it in situations where it's appropriate, not to try and get it to try and do what a full-size helicopter could probably do much more appropriately. The unmanned aerial system is a completely different uh, game, is uh, something that is uh, basically flying on its own. The most of the job is done directly by the computer on board of the machine rather than from you on the ground. So you can concentrate as an operator to perform different uh, tasks. Overall aim of what we're doing is development of next generation technologies for UAV mission management applications. We don't solder anymore. Everything's plug and play on these. I see unmanned aircraft as potentially the future of aviation. They're not the be all and end all, but it's another evolution of aviation, very much like the jet engine was years ago, fly by wire. The technology that's developed for unmanned aircraft could actually very well feed back into manned aviation and make that a lot safer as well. These sorts of technologies really do change the game. They introduce new opportunities, but far more efficiently and at great less cost.